Felix Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, and let's get right into it. So earlier this week, uh, I had I did another video, which was how to draw uh, a full figure of Archie. Uh, and somebody responded asking for a video on how to draw Jughead, which I really thought I had done. And I know I've, I've got videos. If you check my other videos, um, I have videos where I draw Jughead. And I think I have videos where, um, and they're the uh, the time lapse videos where I, you see me draw him very quickly. Uh, and I have one where I color him, but I don't have any videos where I actually uh, draw Jughead. So um, I figured, let me let me fix that fast. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Now, right away, I have. Uh, done I've, I've made an oval for myself most of the archie characters when i draw them uh i will draw i will draw their head based on a sphere but jughead who is uh kind of this disfigured mutant of archie of riverdale uh he gets this uh long oval to help the, his uh his long narrow face and in that oval I throw down a, a quick crosshairs, bending, slanting to one side, whichever side I'm going to have him facing. Um, every year when I when I talk about drawing Archie in my classes at the Kubert School to my students, I shock them all with the revelation that there are no straight on views in Archie. Uh, when you if you look at him, you never see the characters looking straight on at you. They're always uh, either slightly tilted to the left or to the right. You never see their noses straight on, which is fine with me. Uh, to do a straight on view would probably violate the rules of physics. Okay, so I have my, my crosshairs down. Um, I have my oval. Because it is such a prominent feature, what I usually do is I jump in with the nose and, you know, the nose is something that gets really botched a lot by, uh, by people who for, when they first start to draw Jughead. Uh, a lot of times you see the nose being drawn way too long. Um, and you, you'll sometimes see the nose drawn kind of like a box like that, kind of squared off or way too rounded. Um, and it's neither of those. Uh, it's kind. It's got a slight upturn to it, and it's it's got kind. It is kind of squared off, but also a, a rounded square tip at the end. And I I really don't bring the nose out much further than the out than the um, outer line of the oval in whatever direction he's facing. I usually bring it to the oval, maybe maybe. Uh, uh, penetrate the, the line of the oval a little bit, cross over it, and um, that's his nose. Um, now, early on, when I draw Jughead's head, again, because it is such a, a dominant feature, I like to throw his hat right onto the oval. I like to get the hat down fairly quickly. Now, the hat always has four points to it not three not a million just four points i know if you look through the comics you may see some violations of this rule some published violations of this rule but when i was drawing jughead it was drummed into me his hat only has four points and on his hat he has two pins one is a red circle and the other is kind of a semi-curved semi white triangle. And I always like to throw a little drop shadow underneath these like that. Because what they're supposed to be are pins on the side of his hat. Okay. 
So now that his nose is in place, his hat is on, um, and it, it's important to like bring the hat down to make sure it is really resting on his head and not something that is free floating above his head. You wanna make sure he's really wearing it. Okay, so I'm gonna give him his eyes. And Jughead, of course, has that kind of heavy-lidded look, that sleepy-eyed look that deceptively makes you think that he's not paying attention. And really, his eyes become almost like two letter L's with curved lines to them. And if you want, if you want a particularly sly Jughead, maybe you could give a little hint of some pupils. I'll give Jughead eyebrows. Jughead's eyebrows are never as thick as Archie's. And Jughead, for the most part, a true Jughead, remains as expressionless as possible. Neither, you know, he rarely will smile. Most of the time, he just has his, his mouth just pulled over to one side, being dug into his, his cheek. Now what I want to do, now that I have his features in place, I'm going to shape his head. I'm going to bring his head forward to a little bit of a point and then slant downward to behind his nose. And I'm going to bring out his cheek and I'm essentially going to follow the oval. And this is this gives me the chance to kind of rein in the oval if I made it too long or too pointy. I can kind of adjust it to, to what I want. I'm gonna give Jughead an ear, and I usually give Jughead exceptionally big ears. I give Archie big ears, but Jugheads are gonna be bigger. Like I said, he's a he's a he's just a big mutant freak. And on this side, maybe an ear will, will peek out too. Now the back of Jughead's head comes out to a bit of a point, and that's really his hair, and then it slants downward behind the ear. Now, his hair, Jughead has black hair, which kind of pokes out from underneath his hat. He has this sort of jagged sideburn, and I make his sideburns a little long, because he's such a rebel beatnik. original hippie Jughead. I like to indicate a little bit of a uh, highlight in his hair there. And since his hair is black, I'm going to shade it in. Now there have been a lot of great Jughead artists over the years. Uh, Stan Goldberg is a great Jughead artist. Uh, Dan, DeCar Dan DeCarlo could draw the entire Archie gang, all of them, perfectly. My favorite Jughead artist of all time, though, the one who probably informs my Jughead the most, and uh, I've been very proud when people have caught on to it, is the great uh, Sam Schwartz. Sam Schwartz drew for Archie Comics for, for decades. Um, and his, his Jughead stuff was just great. It was just so clean and so deceptively simple. Sometimes Jughead will have a little bit of hair that sticks out in the back, like so. And then a big swath of hair that juts out from the front of his hat. Okay, kind of like a, a curved rectangle of hair. And at the curve, this rectangle is going to have a bit of a highlight. So we leave that highlight open and we'll shade in the rest. And sometimes Jughead's gonna have a little bit of hair poking out from the other side and poking back in. And this gives you Jughead's head, sometimes in, in some real extreme close-ups, I may indicate a little bit of a, of a lower lip there. Sometimes I may indicate a little bit of a bridge of a nose, but on a, on a smaller Jughead head, 
I may, I may keep it simple and not add those details. Next, I want to give Jughead a little bit of a neck. And Jughead, I come in, you know, I follow his, his jawline. I come in uh, and, and I try to keep his neck thinner than most because, again, Jughead is a scrawny mutant freak. And he's going to have a thin neck. And he's going to have his, his typical trademark blue turtleneck sweater. So I'll give him that. And he's going to have a little bit of hair hanging down in the back. Because again, he's a long-haired hippie freak. And this is Jughead. This is how I draw Jughead. Uh, when I was working for Archie, Jughead was probably one of the most fun characters to draw. I know in most interviews I say Reggie, the bad guy, is my most fun character to draw. But Jughead is up there, and I think every artist who gets a chance to draw him feels the same way. Because believe it or not, for a character who is so devoid of emotion and expression, um, he is very animated. He has that skinny, very rubbery, animated body. And there's a lot you could do with him. So, uh, Jughead is, is really a fun character. So give him a try. I hope, uh, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, and I hope it gave, gives you some, a few good tips that you might not have thought of before. A few looks at these details. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any uh, suggestions, any comments at all, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please click like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and if you have subscribed, please check to make sure you've stayed subscribed. And... Um, Above all else, keep practicing, keep drawing. Keep drawing, my friends, keep drawing. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys, oh, the most important part, the signature. See, I really did draw this. Okay, everybody, thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.